Okay, Capricorn. When I did your yearly video, Capricorn, uh, your card for this month was a page of wands. Uh, you could be embodying this energy yourself. You could be uh, starting off on a brand new passionate um, start here of some kind. Uh, you're at the beginning stages of it, right at the very beginning. So you've probably got a little bit to learn, but uh, you've got that wand firmly in your grasp and you're willing to get out there and give it a go. You could also be dealing with a, uh, a, a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius at this stage. Okay. All right, so we're going to have a look at your power thought for to go along with this page of wands. Okay, the power thought, please. Thank you straight out. The Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, you want to tell me something here? I am willing to change. I am willing to release old negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. So yeah, it looks like you're on a brand new start, Capricorn. You've uh, moved away from something and you're willing to change right now. You're willing to move into the future with a passionate new start. You're willing to learn. You're going to give it a go. So yes, it looks like it's all newness for you at the moment, Capricorn. Okay, we're also going to have a look at uh, your money situation at the moment. We're using the Angels of Abundance here by Doreen and Grant Virtue see where your finances are gratitude list counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of uh, fixated on worries in your mind what and who you are grateful for right now Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. Yes, yeah, so as you're making this brand new start, it might be time to just check in and see what you're really grateful for. Roof over your head, food in your stomach are real basics, but sometimes we just neglect to be thankful for that. Um, the fact that you've got a brand new start, it's wonderful. Be thankful for that, you know. The more we thank, the more we get. Okay, and we're also going to have a look at your healing energies here before we start the tarot. June 2019. Any advice, please? Yeah, that one's jumping. Oh, there's two. Massage. Ah, yum. Dear Archangel Raphael, please uh, help me know that I deserve to receive massages and other self-care treatments. Yes, massage. Fabulous. Who wouldn't like a massage? Great. Okay, and give us your cares. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to release any fears to you. Please allow me to completely let go so that I can fully, you can fully guide me in this situation. Yeah, well, when you're taking a brand new start in anything, it could be a whole new life or it could just be a simple, um, change of, um, daily routines. It could be anything in between. But, um, these could be bringing up fears of what might happen. Just let go of the fears. Hold on to that original passionate spark and just move into the future. I mean, you don't know until you give it a go, okay? You just don't know. Okay, so we're going to expand here on the page of wands to see what's happening with you guys with the tarot. So any advice, please, you'd like to give Capricorn to do with this Page of Wands, please? Their card for the month, Page of Wands. Any advice, please? Any guidance you'd like to give Capricorn to do with this Page of Wands, please? Yep. The World and the Emperor. Okay, so, oh, sorry, excuse me, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> All right, so it looks like you, things are turning up for you. Um, whenever the wheel goes around and around and around. So whenever there's a downturn, there's always the upswing, eventual upswing at the other side. You could also be dealing with a fixed sign here. Uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and I think it's Aquarius. I'll have to check that. 
Um, yes, yeah, so you're having a, an upturn in events here. Things are working out really well for you. And it looks like you're standing in your power. I mean, or, and or you're dealing with a very strong, um, Aries here, male Aries, but I'm actually picking up this is more your energy. And you can see that the emperor here is looking at the wheel of fortune. Okay. So yes, he's um, really excited actually, I think in his own little way, you can sort of see a tiny little smirk on his face there, not letting the cat out of the bag, just how excited he is. But um, it's there. I can feel it. <laughs> he's very excited about this new prospect that's coming. All right, so it's either you or someone around you. All right, so the Page of Wands, the chariot, fast movement over land. It could be just fast movement. It could also be that you're starting to balance the um, male, female sides of yourself to get yourself moving. Uh, the yin, the yang, the, the male, female, the opposites of yourself. Uh, you need to balance these two sides to be able to take the reins to move that chariot forward. But you're all set for the travels. You've all got your, your best gear on. You're in your finest chariot here. I just got to get these two sides up and moving together. Once you get these two sides going, uh, you'll be able to take hold of that chariot and race off into the future. Okay. Right. What else have we got? There's that page of wands again. So yes, this is either you or a set or a young fire sign, but, um, that wand that he's holding in his hand there is that new passionate spark and he's looking quite firmly at it with a really good little smile on his face. He's actually quite excited about the future. Okay. So that's what I'm feeling you guys are like at the moment. A little bit anxious, but quite excited. Okay. All right. So you might be moving fastly away from, um, any sort of troubles in the past. Uh, it looks like you might have been dealing with someone here that was taking more than they were giving uh, and all that was you. But you're moving away from this energy here. You're moving away from the troubles of the past, the deceit, the deception, the people sneaking off or whatever it be. Or you could be taking off. Who knows? Um, I believe actually, no, you're moving away from this problem here. You're moving away rapidly from this problem here. All right. So yeah, the page of wands has had enough of those spilt cups. Uh, he wants to get on with life. Okay. He's sick of being, um, broken hearted, sitting around waiting for things to change. I think you're actually getting up and making a change yourself here. Okay. Yes. You're moving away from troubled waters. You're getting out of it. Looks like it seems either a work situation or a love situation, which was just not working for you. It could also be a friendship group here. But you're moving away. You've had enough. You've, you've had enough of the troubles. Okay. For now, anyway. Uh, and fast communication came about when it, it, you decided that you were going to move away from this problem here. Fast communication came about. Okay. Leading you to put your uh, best garb on and get your chariot underway with that passionate, um, wand in your hand you can sort of see he's still holding look, looks like a wand here so you've got that idea and you're willing to roll okay you want to be emotionally supported and emotionally strong that's your that's what you're going for this king of cups could be a uh, male water sign you're dealing with um cancer pisces scorpio but right in the middle here i see that as you you want to have uh, a control over your emotions uh you want to be um known for exactly how you good you are in a relationship uh you want to be honored okay you want to be that king on the throne now you may not have got it in the past but you're sure looking for it in the future now this could be with an existing relationship it might be you changing to change this relationship or it could be you moving away from it okay the empress so the king of cup and the cups and the empress here together um you want to be financially secure being an earth sign here, you want the bounty of life. You want emotional security, but you also want financial security and bounty and beauty around you. Okay. Or you could be looking for a beautiful empress. Okay. Someone who embodies this energy, someone that's um, got their worldly um, situation under control here, um, who has people, you know, 
loving and adoring her I mean this is also the divine feminine here so maybe you're looking for a divine feminine counterpart at the time or this is yourself and you're looking for a king of cups here that um, if you're a female you're looking for a, a, a male here that um, has control of his emotions and is is worth really investing in okay and the Hierophant. Yeah, and eventually I think you want to have it lead to marriage, whatever the problem is. All this situation is dealing with marriage. This could be you trying to sort that marriage out. Let's have a look. Justice has come. I think uh, the scales have been balanced. It looks like you're leaving a situation to work on yourself here with that original Ace of Wands in your hand. You've had enough of the fights. You want to offer love. You want love with substance. You've had enough of not being able to sleep. The confusion. Confusion, more confusion, mental confusion, emotional confusion. You're thinking back to how good it used to be in the past. But if you have a look at this Six of Cups, you can see the, I would say he's the Knight of Wands, or it could be the Page of Wands. Uh, the Page of Wands, so that might be you. You're moving away from the past, okay? No matter how wonderful it might have seen retrospectively, you're moving away from that and you're moving into a brand new future here. To have, con here we go, the King and the Queen. You want balance in relationships and you're willing to do whatever it takes to get it now whether that's just working on yourself working on the relationship or ending the relationship that's your own story but you you want balance emotional balance equal give and take emotionally okay and the outcome brand new start so it looks like you head off by yourself um, with that original idea, um, leaving the troubles of the past behind. Uh, and by the end of the month here, you are out on your own or at least working on yourself uh, with very little in your, back, your backpack here. You've got exactly what you need, no more, and you're joyfully going into the future. Okay, so yes, Capricorn, it looks like major changes for you this month. Lots of movement, lots of moving away from troubles. Uh, get yourself a lovely massage. Uh, maybe have a look at yourself and figure out how you'd like to change yourself. Um, because once you release old negative beliefs um, that stand in your way, um, your new thoughts can be positive and fulfilling. And whatever we think, we manifest. So yeah, if you check in with how you're thinking, uh, and start to have some more positive thoughts. Okay, Capricorn. Well, yes, good luck with this. And if you'd like to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button if you want to get informed of any new videos I post. And bye for now.